In-app development, inspiration can be random, but success is always planned. A great idea can suddenly appear in your head, happens all the time. Turning it into a real working app, now that takes effort, which doesn't happen all the time. That's why many great ideas never go beyond that. Successful products, including apps, start with a good product roadmap. By the end of this video, you will know what a product roadmap is and why everyone needs one, what a product roadmapping workshop with me and my team looks like, and what a product roadmap is not. Over the past five years, whenever my team and I conduct a product roadmapping workshop with a non-tech founder, the same thing happens. At some point in the workshop, the client will say, Oh shit, I didn't think of that. That oh shit, would go on and save them tens of thousands of dollars every time. It never gets old for me. That's what a workshop is for, to provide everyone from the founder to the developers with the big C, clarity. Clarity is what gets shit done. Once we have that, everything else falls into place. And that's really what I would like you to take away from this video. The question isn't, do I need a product roadmap? Yes, you do. The question is, how can I walk away from a product roadmapping workshop and have total clarity on what needs to be done? If this is the first time you're seeing me, my name is Adrian Cheng. I own an app development agency in Malaysia called Upstack Studio. My oh my, I don't know this Adrian Ching fellow, but boy does he give good information. Eh? Plus, he's a really good badminton player and he only buys carbon neutral shuttlecocks. I don't know him. He just seems like that kind of guy. I think we should all subscribe and hit the bell icon to hear more of what I have, what he has to say on various aspects of mobile app development. I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe right now, and you should too. Ooh, what does this button do? What it I just wanna say, I know that was absolutely shameless, and I regret nothing. So, first up, and this is really straightforward. What is a product roadmap? Close your eyes and think of your future app. We're serious. Close your eyes now and try to envision it with as much detail as possible. Can you clearly see it and what it looks like? Chances are you can't. You can only catch a glimpse of what you want it to be. Why? Because there's no clarity. What's happening is you're feeling it. You're imagining the solution working and how that feels. You, my friend, are living in the future. A product roadmap lets you and your developer identify and align on the concrete steps we need to take to get there. It's going to take a lot of steps. And the product roadmap tells us the first 10, then the next 10, and then the next. And then we have your app, just as planned. What happens without a product roadmap. For starters, you'll be working with a developer and neither of you can read the other's mind. If there is no documentation to align everyone, it can get chaotic fast. Especially when you consider the second point, there will be changes. There may not be huge changes, but there will be changes because people don't know what they want until they actually have the chance to use it. If we ever need to retrace our steps and go in a different direction, a roadmap makes it so much easier. Product Roadmapping Workshop and Upstack Studio. If you're sold, why am I still selling? Sign up for our Product Roadmapping Workshop through the link in description. If you're still on the fence, let's do some role play. I'm gonna play myself, an app developer who's great at badminton. You'll play a non-tech founder who's come for a product roadmapping workshop and Upstack Studio. Just to note, during the actual session, there will be a small team of Upstackers. This is just a demonstration. Also, we send founders our app brief template to fill in before the session, so we have some existing knowledge of the idea beforehand. Link in the description, but you can check it out after the video. Editor, drum roll please. Hi, welcome to Upstack Studios Product Roadmapping Workshop. Here's our agenda for the day. Product overview and team introduction, five minutes. Target audience, 45 minutes. Problem statements, 15 minutes. Value proposition, 30 minutes. Type of app, five minutes. Quick break, brain dump one, 60 minutes. Lunch break, brain dump two, 60 minutes. Prioritization, 60 minutes. To make sure we are productive, every stage will have a set time. If it's 15 minutes, it's 15 minutes. And we must move on to the next part. We also ask that you turn off other devices and give us your full attention. In turn, we will do the same for you. In total, we will be spending about four to six hours together. So we hope you are fresh 
and ready to go. That concludes our product overview and team introduction stage. So now we can move on to the first real part, target audience. Go identify specific user personas. Who is the persona you're trying to reach here? We will now have a no holds barred discussion about who you want to help. What are their circumstances? What are their personality traits? What would compel them to use a particular solution? Here's an example of one we have filled out. We've given the user a name, chat, and map of relevant parts of his life. During the session, we try to identify as many personas as possible. But for now, we'd like you to try coming up with just one. Use what I've filled as an example. Done? Nice. Next step, problem statement. Goal, describe problems faced by our personas we want to solve. For the next 15 minutes, we list down as many problems as we can think of. Then, we vote on three most urgent. For practice, I'd like you to write down just one. I'll start. Here's a problem faced by Chan. Next stage, value proposition. Goal, clearly state what value we provide to solve that pain point. It could be a standalone service or a bundle of services, preferably highlighting what competitors lack. Again, we try to list down as many as we can, which explains all the boxes. I would like you to write down just one value proposition for your persona. Here's what we'll offer Chad. Your turn. Okay, now on to type of app. Goal, based on everything we know so far, should we go with a mobile app or mobile site? By the way, 80% of the time, we find a site is good enough. What ensues is us having to convince founders they don't need an app, but man, you guys can be stubborn. Be careful not to fall in love with the idea of an app. An app isn't an idea, it's just an interface and a really expensive one. We're trying to save you time and money here, so help us help you. For now, on to the next part, the brain dump. Go, think up as many features as possible. This part is easy in theory. Don't stop to think about things like practicality or cost effectiveness. If you think your app is gonna need it, list it down. So let's say for chat, these are features I immediately think the app will need. Your turn. Think of three features your solution will need. By the way, our current record for the most features in one brain dump is 211. Obviously, that is total overkill. And we ended up cutting it down to 103 in the next section, where we prioritize. We screen every feature with these five questions. Can we hold this feature off for a week or more? If we remove this, does the product still solve the main customer problem? If we remove this, does the product still function? Did I add this because it's sexy and shiny? Is the founder on the fence about this feature? The goal? Determine the least amount of features your app needs to qualify as a minimum lovable product. Same concept as minimum viable product, but an MVP just asks whether the app does what it's supposed to do. If you're thinking of a lovable product, it's more like what's the least your app has to do for customers to genuinely enjoy the experience of using the solution. Humans are emotional creatures. We make choices based on how we feel. Why settle for viable? We need to make your app lovable. We also sort through these features to see what can initially be done manually. Why? To save cost. For example, users may want to make purchases through your app or site from day one. Instead of starting out with an integrated payment gateway, we might recommend our founders to leave a bank account and phone number and then ask those who are interested to send screenshots of transfers. It's not sexy, but at this point, sexy has very little return on investment. Let's see what Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank has to say. Be smart with risk and listen to Adrian or I'm out. <laughs> You heard the man. Once numbers start to pick up, we can talk about automation. And let's just say numbers never pick up. At least you've proactively mitigated some of your losses. By the end, we have a tentative roadmap, which might look something like this. A few things I want to point out. One, it's concise. A roadmap isn't meant to be 20 pages long. But two, it's still detailed enough to tell us what needs to be done for the next four to six months and in what order. Three, there are no hard dates, only ranges. This is going off into project management territory, but software development is never 100% predictable. This is what I meant by crystal clear clarity. We're sure of what needs to be done and now we execute. And just like that, congrats on making it to the end of the Upstack Studios product road mapping workshop. Does it end here? No, 
Our team will follow up with a confirmation email of everything we recorded. You have the final chance to say, Guys, I was drunk. Can we do it all over again? Or you could say, Yep, looks good. Let's do this. From there, the real journey begins. And that's a story for another day. My last takeaway for you is that a road mapping workshop isn't like a classroom where all answers are correct and the developer says yes to everything you say. I say this not to put anyone down. I take my own advice. I always ask how my team and I can make Upstack Studio a minimum lovable product for our clients. Sometimes that means letting people know their idea is impossible given their resources. We've learned to break it gently and wherever possible offer alternatives. Come for my road mapping workshop. You get to meet my team, you get to hear professional feedback on your idea and worst case, we walk away as friends. Best case, we hit it off, we think your solution is wonderful and we start working on making your idea a reality. Cheers guys! Oh, and uh, you know I have to ask, please subscribe to my channel. It would really help get this message out to other non-tech founders.